This video will walk you through the BuzzEdit workspace so that you may begin your journey and exploration into embroidery design customization. The BuzzEdit window is divided into two sections. Stitches in Space shows you the open design in the selected hoop as it will look on your fabric. In Space refers to where the stitches will be. The tools on the left affect everything that has to do with the spatial location of the stitches. Moving, rotating, flipping, these tools are all used to manipulate the stitches in space. To the right of this design is a 3D preview and this space is called the Stitches in Space Reference Window. Its function is to show you the entire design and to allow you to zoom in on those stitches without selecting a separate tool. The bottom portion of your screen is called Stitches in Time. If you think of Stitches in Space as how you expect the design to look in the hoop, Stitches in Time is how the machine will accomplish this. The top bar is called the color bar and shows the thread changes in the design as they will be stitched from left to right. The size of the color block is representative to the number of stitches of that color. Each color is a thread change and the number of thread changes and stitches is shown at the bottom of the window followed by the dimensions of the design. Under the color bar is the stitch length bar that visually shows you the length of the stitches. The easiest to point out are the fill stitches and also the long or jump stitches. A jump stitch in time looks like a spike. The same stitch in space is a dashed line that will not be visible in the reference window which is a 3D version of the design. The menu button bar at the top contains the most popular buzz edit menu commands for quick access. Their function is displayed when you hover atop any of them as in the toolbar on the left. Let me show you how to begin to interact with the buzz edit workspace. To quickly combine designs, you would go to the file menu and choose insert design to choose a file from your collection. I will select to insert it at the end of the design. By default, the inserted design is centered. To move it to a new location in space, you may put your mouse cursor over the current selection and move it to where you want it to stitch in the current hoop. Click outside the hoop to clear any selection. For a close-up view of any portion of the design, use the Stitches in Space reference window. Your mouse automatically turns into a magnifying glass when you move it into this pane. Click hold and drag your mouse to zoom in on what you would like to look at. The dashed rectangle in the reference pane is zoomed in on in Stitches in Space. Use the slider bars to move the magnification window. You may redraw your zoom rectangle without changing tools. To return to 100%, click on the minus sign in the upper right hand corner. You can never lose your design using the reference window. You may be zoomed in on nothing, simply take a deep breath and hit the minus sign. The stitches and time graphs show you the color order at the machine. You will become familiar with the design so that editing is more straightforward by using the Sew Simulator to watch the design stitch in both space and time. You notice that this design repeats colors but they are not layered. Combining these colors together will save thread changes and be more efficient. This can easily be accomplished using the sort colors function. You can preview an actual size pop-up of the design in realistic stitches to see the results. You may also access the various print options from the top menu bar. The print worksheet is a handy item to bring to the machine for accurate thread choices. The Buzz Edit workspace displays embroidery designs in both space and time to allow for optimal editing and customization.